I'm launching a brand new batch of Facebook ad creatives, and I'm gonna show you the whole tutorial from start to finish. You're gonna see my creatives, you're gonna see my ad copy, how many ad sets I launched, the campaign I launched, you're gonna see it all. So I really hope this helps you out if you're not tuned in yet, because I drop more value on this channel than 99% of the YouTubers and actual entrepreneurs out there. I show you my losses, I show you my wins, and I teach you how to become a better entrepreneur. Let's get into launching these Facebook ads. You guys can start making money in your sleep. I'm gonna show you this strategy right now. All right, so we have about 12 ad creatives. I think we have batch one, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then batch two has five ads as well. So we have 10 ad creatives that we wanna launch. Let's go back to the Facebook ads. These two are running right now. Brand new ad account, so Facebook is actually finding our audience right now. These two were performing the best. There's actually no purchases yet. I just wanna show you that we know this is gonna work. We just gotta take the right marketing angles. We gotta run the right videos for our niche because we know we have a good product. We just need to uh, showcase this. This isn't drop shipping. This is a brand, so it's a little bit different. If I'm drop shipping, I would wanna see under $1 CPUCs right away. I ideally wanna see under $1 CPUC with a brand as well, but we're just gonna have to find what works for our niche, what interests work. We started off with these really terrible CPUC. So we cut that $10, it started spending over $2. So we cut that and then $15, this was at a $3 CPUC, we cut that. Uh, wish I cut this one at 10. This hit $15 spend mark. I wish I would have cut this one off at $10 too. These two are good. Our break even point is about $40. These didn't even spend that amount yet. I'm gonna keep letting them run because the CPUC is the lowest that we're getting. We're gonna run more ads now that are really highly anticipated. I think they're gonna do a lot better than everything we ran. So I'm gonna get into it. I'm always gonna duplicate the best performing ones. So this one is running at $1.28 CPUC. So let me just filter by selection, make sure I duplicate this. Now we have two different batches. We're gonna use it in the creative testing campaign. So for batch one, I'm gonna go ahead and just edit all of this stuff. So we're gonna have this be batch one. I'm not even gonna use the hook because we're not changing the hook yet. We're just changing the first scene of these ads. The first visual is gonna be different, but it's gonna say the same exact thing. So we're gonna be testing that. Usually I would test a different hook for this test. I think it's a really good ad as it is. We're gonna have to go in, we're gonna throw in the ads. So let me take this media out. Let me add another video. What I'm gonna do is highlight all of batch one, creative one to batch one, creative five. And I'm just gonna drag it into my ads manager. And these videos are gonna populate now. So now we just kind of wait. All right, so our media just loaded up and we're gonna click batch one, creative one, and we're gonna upload this, click next. We're gonna leave it how it is. Um, we're gonna go to the crop, we're gonna leave it, and then we're not gonna optimize it, we're gonna leave it. The next thing we're gonna do is update the ad copy. So we found out that the hooks exclusive one-time bundle box and under $100 bundle box work the best. So if I go into the other ad we had and we go into this one right here. So this was actually performing best and this was exclusive one-time bundle box. That's the hook that was actually on the on-screen text. And then the other one that was working really well was the under $100 bundle box. So we changed up the ad copy a little bit and we're making slight changes based off the data we see so that we can get the best test every single time. So let me go back to that ad I was editing. We'll go back into the draft. We're gonna click edit. We'll go back to batch one, creative one. We'll adjust the thumbnail and everything too, but we just wanna throw in these primary texts right now. This is gonna be the first one with the brand new hook and we adjusted the copy tiny bit from our first launch, which was actually batch three. I wish we could have started with batch one and batch two, but the reason we couldn't was because the ads simply just weren't done. We had to throw on the on-screen text, which I'll show you guys a little later. Now I'm gonna highlight the alternative copy because we wanna split test these, see which ones do better. Now the thing is we would have been able to see which copy did better after our first test, but our ad account actually has a bug right now and it's not showing the data from the split test, but I wanna continue running the split test to accumulate more data later down the line. Once they get that bug fixed, we'll probably get all that data that was racking up. We have exclusive one-time bundle box and then the other one under a hundred dollar bundle box. And the other thing I wanted to do was actually switch this headline to now trending because I think that will actually work better. And I've been seeing a lot of big brands do it. So I wanna try the same thing. Now for the shop now, we just wanna change the URL to our 
homepage for these ads. And the reason we're doing homepage for this brand is because it's a clothing brand, it's fashion. We have a catalog of many different products. So people learn about our mission. They see actually what it's about that we're looking to motivate people. If you're stuck in a bad place, a conflicted decision, like it's okay, you'll get out of it. Winners strive, we overcome hurdles and adversity. So we keep on going. We want our customers to feel emotion to make impulse purchases. So this is what our ad copy is gonna look like. It's now trending, which is cool. Now, the next thing I wanna do is just edit the video. And I actually wanna edit the thumbnail. So we're gonna go into manual and see if we could get a great thumbnail. So maybe something like, maybe this, because a lot of guys are gonna stop when they see a woman. So text on your video may be covered by your profile. That's fine. I'm okay with that. All right, so now what I wanna do is actually edit the interest targeting. Let's go into the checklist. $5 a day, men only US. So we wanna make sure it's not a copy. So we have $5 a day. We definitely wanna schedule this. We'll schedule it for the next day at 12 a.m. or 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. Whatever time works best for you, I'm gonna schedule this one at 12 a.m. We want people living in this location, United States 18 to 34, cause that's our target audience. We're going pretty narrow actually. ASAP Rocky was working good. So we're gonna use that again. And then for the duplicates, we're gonna use a couple other interests. Let me just make sure the ad is good. UTMs are in and everything. It's looking good. We have multi-advertiser ads on, which is good. The UTM is good. Yeah, it's not showing the variations. It's kind of stupid, but all good. Yeah, so the thumbnail is gonna look like that. All right, so now what we wanna do is go to the ad set and we're gonna actually duplicate this four times. So the existing campaign, because we have five total ads that we wanna put in. So we're gonna duplicate it four times. It's gonna duplicate right now. And now look at this, all of it populated. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna start changing them up. So we're gonna start from the top. And the first thing I wanna do actually is highlight all of the ad sets, edit each ad set, and you're gonna see copy. So I wanna delete the copy for all of them, just so we could have our naming conventions correct. I'm gonna go a little harder with the naming conventions later on. Once we do more testing for our ads, like we're either gonna put the angle or the hooks continuing to do that. But since it's the same on-screen text as all of the batch one ads, we're gonna leave it how it is. And uh, don't worry, I'm still gonna show you how our ads look somewhere in this video because I wanna show you what a good ad actually looks like. So we're gonna make this batch one creative two. This one's gonna be batch one creative three. And then we're gonna go all the way up to five. So this one's gonna be batch one creative four. And this one's gonna be batch one creative five. So let's go into batch one creative two. And I'm just gonna switch out the video. So we're gonna change the video and we're gonna look for batch one creative two throw that in we're not going to want to trim it we're going to leave it how it is and all of our products are customized so go ahead if you want to try to copy us like i can promise you you won't do as well as us i hope you do if you make a clothing brand but like don't don't copy exactly what we're doing like don't try to copy our products don't try to copy our ads what you want to do is get inspired by our ads throw in a unique twist and then make the ads your own that's going to push the best results for you. Not just copying what the top dog is doing because the top dog already did it. He is weeks ahead of you, months ahead of you with content, with research, with actually taking action on things. So if you're all the way back at the start of the race when I had months to get started, you're just not gonna win. You're gonna lose every single time. And believe me, like I tried to do that when I was pretty new to dropshipping and I got my ass kicked. I spent tens of thousands of dollars trying to copy other people and I wasted my money because there was really nothing to show. I didn't get the greatest results because of it. So this thumbnail is a little kind of whack to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is just edit the video and I actually wanna change this manually. So I'm gonna put that to her once again so it stops people's attention but it's unable to preview so this is going to be our ad that we are running for our brand and this is just batch one we're gonna launch a batch two in this video as well i'm gonna show you what we're doing for that today someone asked me what's the target audience for conflicted i said conflicted is for the doers the hustlers and the dreamers who refuse to settle for mediocrity we're here to remind you that you are capable of achieving greatness and to inspire you to take action towards your goals. We want to be a source of motivation and inspiration, not just through our clothes, but through the community. We've built a community of individuals who are all about making things happen, creating opportunities and defying expectations. 
So if you're ready to be a game changer to show the world what you're made of, then join us. If not, just keep scrolling and forget about us. So that's the ad we made and we took all this time to make custom products, custom content. You guys might be in a different situation if you're drop shipping, but if you wanna just order the product or send the product to a content creator, you can make ads that are just as good and it's actually pretty easy. One thing I noticed though, I actually wanna change the ad copy on this. I wanna put in an ad copy kind of like this because we're actually not doing the bundle box for batch one. We were actually doing the bundle box for uh, batch two. So let me just change out the ad copy real quick for all these ads. And we'll do something like this just to give people a little bit of a background about our brand mission. And then if they want to go to our website, it'll convert. So I think batch two will actually convert higher than batch uh, one. But batch one is very good for brand awareness, which is going to be cool. So what I'm actually going to do that's already in there, I'm just going to highlight the hook. So I'm just going to replace this and I'm just going to replace this. Yeah. I think that's good. This is definitely better ad copy than what I'm putting in right now, but this is going to help build our brand in the eyes of the people who want to wear it. So if they fit in with our mission and their life story feels like it aligns with our brands, they're really going to appreciate this copy right here, but they'll definitely appreciate the creative more. So I just want to throw these in for all five of these ad sets. Oh, I'm sorry, all five of these ads. Okay. All right. So that's all good. It should look like this. Maybe since it's so long, what I could do is actually just make a little space right here and that should look a little better. Let me just see what it looks like. So yeah, that looks a little better. So this is a little bit of a longer ad copy. I don't usually make copy like this. We're just driving brand awareness because look, we're not drop shipping. So we're going to make this thing work no matter what. And I'm going to show you exactly how I make it work with really good marketing. And we're going to hit these people from many different angles and we're going to relentlessly spend money on ads and test new ads until this thing works and we're going to make new products until we find the product that is the prize. But as you can see in the ads, we had all those packages like we already sold tons of packages organically. That was pretty cool. Now, here is five ads that are ready to go. The only thing I want to do now is switch the interests on these. So I'm going to go back into the drafts and what I'm going to do for some of them is just look for new interests. So let me go to the checklist and we're going to look for probably some of these like world star hip hop, uh, things like that. Let's see how big of an audience that is. Okay, that's decent. Ideally, I want 30 to 40 million plus. But since we're targeting such a narrowed down age range, like 18 to 34, 11 to 13 million is good. 30 to 40 million plus is just ideal for starting. But uh, once you get like a thousand purchases, actually, you could open it up completely broad and that might even be better for a lot of ad accounts. Once you get a thousand purchases, once you hit that mark, just because there's so much data that Facebook picked up that they can kind of work things out on their own. And then their AI is typically better than these interests at driving sales. So this is actually really good. Ideal for 18 to 34 a bigger audience. So 19 million. I'm cool with that. Let's go to the third ad and we're going to target future. And then it looks like we're going to target Drake. So future rapper, this should be a pretty big audience. I think two point. Okay. It's really not that big to be honest, but let's try it out. I want to try a small interest. I haven't tried a small interest like this in a really long time. Maybe there's just less competition because maybe a lot of mentors are preaching the principles I do and they're just working with bigger audiences and maybe there's less competition, which will result in a lower CPM. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a test. So I'll test that out for you guys. I'll test this small audience with this batch of ads and then I'll let you know how it does. Uh, this thing is freezing. Yeah, my computer is getting pretty hot. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Ah, look at that. Maybe out a little bit. Yo, it's not working. No, no. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, mm. All right, cool. So it finally loaded. The next interest we want to target is Drake Rapper. And uh, we're going to X out ASAP Rocky. So this one is really big. 21 to 25 million. That CPM should probably be a lot lower. I'm assuming there's not as much competition because it's a little bigger. Now let's just see what else we want to target. Target. So hip hop fashion, I think should do pretty good. Travis Scott wasn't bad, but let's try hip hop fashion. Let's try that one. Hip hop fashion. Paro 
world. Good. And this has a big audience as well, which is pretty cool. Now the dope thing with testing many different interests is like one is gonna hit. I really like interest testing. Usually I test a bunch of different creatives first to like a few creatives. But the thing is, I don't wanna risk marketing all of these creatives to a couple of shit interests. So I wanna make sure I have a bunch of different creatives going to different interests at one time. And whatever starts working first, I'm gonna focus in on it. And then we could start running all our best creatives to all the best interests and we can start doing more interest testing and go from there and it's going to be a lot better than when we're starting because we're going to have a lot more data to look at we just made five ad sets and five ads for batch one now i want to start making ads for batch two so i'm going to duplicate one ad set and i'm going to make the adjustments that i need to make so this is going to be the duplicate i'm pretty sure yeah the copy so i want to delete that and i want to go to batch one creative one and all i want to do is write batch two creative one and then i'm gonna go into here and i'm gonna add in the media for batch two creative one but an easier way to do this i actually just had a better idea so what i'm gonna do is highlight all of the other ad sets so hip-hop fashion drake future supreme and we already duplicated world star hip-hop so i'm just gonna duplicate all of these one time number of copies in the existing campaign so we're gonna have four more copies there's gonna be a total of five new ad sets and what we're gonna do is just swap out batch one creative four for batch two creative four we're gonna swap out batch one creative two for batch two creative two and we're gonna do things like that so let me just go into the ad section real quick and just change that so batch two creative four now it's gonna be batch two creative two i have to do batch two creative three three and then we just need batch two creative five and then that should be all of them all right cool perfect so now we have all five of those and to make things easier i'm just going to highlight all of these and then filter by selection so we're only looking at the new five ad sets that we just made now i'm going to edit them so basically i'm going to highlight this one this one this one this ad this ad so one two three four five and we're going to edit each ad set because we want to change the name so we want to delete this copy copy and i'm actually pretty sure the other ones are going to say copy too because i didn't do this as clean as i could have so i'm just going to highlight all of them i'm going to edit each ad set and i'm going to change the name yep i didn't do this as clean as i could have so i'm wasting a little bit of time which i don't like next video i'll try to do it better but let's do it like this so let's launch like five and five one two three four five and then from this one we're gonna launch it on saturday 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 we're just gonna save to draft all right sweet now what I can start doing is editing the actual creative a good solution would have been to duplicate one at a time change the ad copy and then duplicate that one five times and change all of the ad creatives that would have worked a lot better so this is gonna be batch two creative one let me just change the video and then highlight all of batch two creative one through five and I'm gonna drag it into the ads manager so all of this content could populate all right great so these just all uploaded i'm gonna click on batch 2 creative one and i'm gonna populate this into the ad so this is the creative i want to use all right dope and it's gonna upload here now we already updated the primary text on both so both ad copies it's gonna look like this but i do kind of want to give a better feel for the thumbnail so i'm gonna go and select a manual thumbnail maybe showcasing it in the city or like a flat lay this looks nice we're gonna leave the website url the same now I'm going to go to batch two creative two and do the same exact thing. Just going to change the video with batch two creative two. Next crop. We want to leave this how it is. And then let's see which thumbnail they give us. They give us this. It's just not captivating enough. So it's cool if you have thumbnails beforehand, but um, if you don't, that's okay. I'm going to use this one for every single video because it actually looks really dope the other thing we want to change is the copy just gonna do this real quick and i'm gonna make sure it all looks good all right cool that looks straight now we're gonna go to batch two creative three and we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna edit the copy and then we're gonna edit the creative two yeah guys so while you make your ads there's actually a formula that makes ads hit every single time basically you just need to have a good product good offer you need a 
find what that is. You need to find what your good angles are and a good hook. If you structure your ads in the correct way, they will work. I actually just dropped a course. People are going through the course. They're seeing numbers very quickly. Like I have a couple of students within weeks. They're hitting almost a K a day. I have two drop shippers who went through. They're making over six figures with their brands now with their drop shipping stores. The content in there is actually very helpful. There's a lot of things that I show in there that I don't have on my YouTube yet. It's very advanced content in there. And don't let that scare you if you're a beginner because you can go through this advanced content as a beginner and get just as much as an expert would from that video. And the value is just very straightforward. It's step by step. It's basically a blueprint. I don't even wanna call it a course, but you can click the link down below after you finish watching this video to check it out. I also give a free Discord community and a couple of other bonuses, like you'll get access to dozens of SOPs telling you how to optimize your store, how to improve your store's conversion rate and things like that. So it's really helpful for a lot of people what I'm seeing, just the feedback I'm getting from students inside there. And if you're more interested in mentorship, the students that I've been teaching have been seeing results like crazy, man. That's also link in bio if you want to check that out but let me show you the rest of these ads so i'm going to change the last creative so this is going to be badge 2 creative 5 and i'm not going to trim it i'm going to leave it how it is not going to optimize it and then the only thing i want to change is the thumbnail and then the ad copy so i'm going to edit the video go to thumbnail we're going to use that uh pair of shorts with the blue and black on it blue hearts bro fire fire pair of shorts if you want to support the brand go to it definitely buy something cop something if like you just want to see our experience how we send out this clothing go for it man definitely rep our brand i'll appreciate it a lot this seems good so all of this is done now i want to show you just one of our ads real quick it looks like it's not going to show us like this so what i'm going to do is edit the video and i'm going to put the thumbnail back to automatic for a second just so i could show you guys the ad creative because yo this is a banger let's uh see how it looks so exclusive one-time bundle box you get all these benefits exclusive stock is running low to rush scarcity free shipping over 75 dollars and this bundle box is 97 they're going to be getting free shipping they'll like that and then what are you waiting for to rush urgency get yours here so this is the ad i hope you guys like it the way it works is simple the first order placed during the drop will be refunded in full this means that if you're quick enough you could potentially get your order completely free of charge however please keep in mind that the competition is fierce so you'll need to act fast we are only opening our site to those who truly support our brands and the message behind our clothing. Conflicted is all about keeping your head down, working tirelessly, and achieving your goals in a way that is quiet and unassuming. So you guys get the point. There's 18 more seconds of that beast ad. It's going to do very well. Now that we have everything basically set up, I'm just going to run through real quick and double check everything to make sure uh, everything is good. And what I also want to do is just change back that thumbnail real quick. So let me go to edit video. I'm going to go to the thumbnail manual and then we're going to select the pair of shorts. All right. So we're going to launch all these in the same campaign. We have 10 ad sets. Go into it. We have 10 ads. If we sort it by name, it's not really sorting by name how I want it to, but we we have batch one, creative four. Yeah, why is this being mad weird? Batch one, creative one, batch one, creative two, and then batch one, creative three, four, and then five. And all the unchecked are batch two, creative one, two, three, four, five. All right, sweet. So for batch one, we have a couple of different thumbnails we're gonna use for batch two. We're gonna use the same thumbnails and we're using a number of different interests. So we have future, hip hop, fashion, Drake, cream, and then world star hip hop. So we're using five different interests. Let's see how this does. And the one change I want to make actually for these ads, I want to switch all of them to automatic placement. So I highlighted everything. I went into the bulk editor and I'm just going to switch these to advantage plus placements just because we're a very new ad account. So I want Facebook to put these ads where it thinks they'll perform best. And then I'm going to save this to draft. And I think everything else should be good actually. But let me just double check the copy real quick. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to review and publish these ads. Let me see what these errors are. Story media 
media for all of them. Let me see if there's any errors in the ad sets. Nope, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish them. And remember, these are being scheduled. They're not gonna launch right now. So yeah, if you wanna crush it like my student is doing here, he made 3K like his first week in my course. So I just dropped the course, the link is down below. And if you wanna improve your dropshipping or e-commerce, I highly recommend you get in there so that you can scale to crazy numbers because this student is gonna be doing very well. And if you wanna dominate Facebook ads with a proven free testing strategy, you can click this video right here.